Number 77. In the early days of automobiles, illumination at night was provided by burning acetylene, which is C2H2. Though no longer used as auto headlamps, acetylene is still used as a source of light by some cave explorers. The acetylene is, was, prepared in the lamp by the reaction of water with calcium carbide, which is CAC2. So I wrote that reaction right over here. CAC2 solid plus 2H2O liquid yields CaOH2 solid plus the acetylene, C2H2 gas. We want to know, or the question is asking for, calculate the standard enthalpy of the reaction, and then they give us the delta H of the CAC2 is negative 15.4 kilocalories per mole. Okay, so a couple of things here, right? They want the standard enthalpy, so standard means that we have to look into the charts, aka go back in the textbook and find the values. Now, that's what I did. So basically I found out, you know, what the water would be in the back of the textbook, the calcium hydroxide, and the acetylene. But now here's the catch, guys. They gave us the delta H for CAC2 in kilocals per mole. All of the other values... I don't know what my dog's doing, but we got to learn how to work through distractions. Maybe somebody's entering the house. I really hope not. But I got to keep going, right? All right, so let's keep going. <laughs> so they gave you the delta H, right? Kilojoules per mole. But they gave you the delta H of CAC2 in kilocals per mole. I first have to convert this number into a kilojoule in order to place it right in here. So let's quickly do that. So I'm going to say that it was 15, negative 15.4 kilocals per mole. And now I don't want kilocalories. I'm just converting. I need to just convert this unit into kilojoules. So times by a ratio, kilocal go on, goes on the bottom. And I want kilojoules. So KJ, I wrote down what the conversion is. So for every one kilocalorie, it's 4.184 kilojoules. Cancel out the kcals, and now we have kilojoules. So let's see. Negative 15.14 times 4.184. Um, I'm going to cut it off after a couple of decimals, but it's negative 63.3, we'll say 3.5. And now that's kilojoule per mole. That's the number that I'm going to put over here. So under the CAC2, I'm going to say that this is negative 63.35. Okay. And now I can basically get rid of this math. If you need to use it, or, you know, not use it, but if you want to write it down, pause the video just to, you know, have it down on paper. But I'm getting rid of it. All right, guys? Bye-bye. Anyway, now we have this number. And now we can find the delta H. What's the delta H formula? We've seen it so many times. It's this one, right? It's just products minus reactants. So maybe I'll just put it over here. So the delta H for the whole reaction, Rxn, is the sum of all the products, delta H, minus the sum of all the reactants, delta H. So I just need to get one single number for the left-hand side and one single number for the product side. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, and maybe I'll just move this over a little bit. We're just going to multiply the numbers that we found out by how many we have in our balanced equation. Now, I already see that they gave us coefficients, like there's a 2 here. So I'm going to assume that this equation is balanced, but just always make sure that it's balanced, guys, okay? So I have 1 CAC2, so I just multiply that by 1. There was 2 H2Os. So I multiply this number by 2. There was 1 CaOH2, so I multiply that by 1. And then there was 1 C2H2, so I multiply this by 1. And now I just got to sum them up. So add them together. Literally, it's CaC2 plus H2O. So literally, a plus sign here, if I can fit it. Maybe I'll just bring this a little bit over this way. Plus... CaOH2 plus C2H2, so literally add the two numbers together. 
All right, let's get one number for the left and the one number for the right side. So negative 63.35 plus 2 times a negative 285.83. So I get negative 635.01. For the left hand side, and then negative 985.2 plus 227.4. I get a negative, whoop, switch over, negative 757.8 for the right hand side. Okay, products minus reactants, let's go. Delta H for the whole reaction is negative 757.8 minus the sum of the reactants, which was a negative 635.01. Keep change, change, ne minus a negative, right? Is just a positive plus plus, if that helps. But I'm just going to plug it in. So we get this number minus that. So I get a negative 122.79 kilojoules per mole. And that is it, guys. We did it. So this reaction is going to release some heat. I know it's going to release because there's a negative. How much? 122.79 kilojoules per one mole. And that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I really hope you guys are doing well. And I'm rooting for you on your future tests and quizzes. All right? I will see you all in later lessons. And have an awesome day. All right? Bye-bye.